I ordered some connectors and adapters from AmericanRadioSupply.com. I talk about these guys in my Friday shopping videos often, so I decided to try out their connector finder. Let's see what the results are. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. American Radio Supply is one of those places that I have often mentioned on the Friday video. And they have over here on their website, they have, it's just AmericanRadioSupply.com. I'll share this link in the description below. It's also important that I note that I have never spoken to American Radio Supply. I ordered these parts anonymously. I ordered them under my name, but I didn't say they were for a video. They just have a, a good selection of inventory, and they send out coupons regularly, so I've always included them. On this website, at the very top, there's a connector finder, and you can go here and basically find anything. This is a very long page. Now, there's I, I couldn't find everything I wanted on here, and you see there's a lot of blanks on these, these right-hand columns, so there's... Uh, these are different brands, I believe. PPE, ARS, and OP, uh, OPK, I think, is OPEC. I don't know what these other are. But there's Side A, Gender A, Side B, Gender B, and Style. Straight, Mono Straight, Panel, Elbow. I was looking for a couple of elbow connectors I really couldn't find. But this is a really good place to find connectors if you're looking for something that is specific. You have a specific need for something, and... You don't know exactly where to find it. I've bought connectors on Amazon before. They've been fine, but uh, sometimes they don't uh, They don't really live up to where I think they should. So let's come over here to the overhead cam. This is the package I received in the mail a couple of days ago. Uh, it's very nicely packaged. I got five different connectors. The, they're all individually packaged. <clears throat> this, is an SO2, this is an SMA female to SO239. This is for placing on top of like Bofang radios right here if I want to do power testing on them. This is the type of connector that I use. I had two or three of these that I had bought on Amazon previously. <clears throat> One of them went bad. I was getting this short in it and it, it, was just, it was getting a high SWR and I changed connectors and found out that that was the problem. So I tossed it in the trash and I've lost the other ones through just kind of using them here and there. So I got a couple of those. There's another one there. I got, looks like I got three of those. No, it looks like I got four of those. Yeah, I got four of those connectors. And then I got this one right here because I'm always losing these because I also need one of these for my P2 R Finder tablet in the truck. This guy right here, I got specifically for my ICOM IC705 with the BNC male to the BNC female right angle. So now I can get a signal stick antenna and put right there on top and connect it to the side of the IC705 and use it on VHF and UHF repeaters or maybe a D-Star hotspot or something like that nearby and have the antenna in the proper configuration being that it's it will be it will be now be vertical pointed up rather than pointed out from the side of the radio so a right angle adapter for the 705 if you're wanting to use it on VHF UHF is just kind of a good idea the adapters that I looked for on this website and were not able to find is I wanted an adapter I wanted a right angle adapter from BNC to SMA I don't have a dual band HT antenna in BNC signal stick makes their antennas in SMA male, SMA female, BNC, and SO2 or PL259. So it's easy to get them. I just don't have one. So I thought, well, I'll order one of this and I'll order one with an SMA. I couldn't find the SMA ones. They don't have everything, but they do have a good selection. If you're looking for something specific and you've looked at a couple other places and you don't have anything near you that you can drive up to and find, and if you don't trust some stuff on Amazon because sometimes you don't know where it comes from, this might be a good alternative or might be a good stopping point that you might stop by every uh, every week or so. If you sign up on their email list, newsletter sign up, it says at the top of the website, they will send you emails with discount codes. I, it's usually $10 off of a $25 or more order. Those are generic. They send those out to everybody. They're not specific to me. You guys can use the ones you want, get emailed to the ones you want, and just uh, go from there. But I just wanted to share that with you because I always thought that that connector finder was a neat feature. I always thought that was a neat option to have on a website because a lot of times you're like, I don't know what this connector's called, or you search for it on Amazon and they can't find it, and you search for it on eBay and you're like, ah, oh, that's going to ship from China. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, this is a good place to find connectors. Stop here. See if they've got it. If not, then, you know, move on. You might try Mauser. There's probably other places out there. In fact, let me know what places you buy connectors at. If you buy connectors and adapters and you're looking for some oddball configurations, let me know where you find them. Put a comment in the description below. Thanks for watching.